What's up guys, Legion here. This is a guide for uh, new farm owners. In this video I will tell you everything I learned for from my one month of uh, owning uh, two farmlands. And I bought a third one and I will show you how to make it um, efficient for people to farm and um, how to promote it and how to make it uh, somewhat popular. I don't have the best farmers in the game, but um, I hope you can uh, learn something from uh, my experience. First of all, uh, I'm not uh, endorsing, this is not financial advice, all the disclaimers. Uh, this is not a video of me telling you to buy uh, farmland or NFTs or crypto or anything. But you, if you have them, this is how I would uh, manage them. First of all, I would recommend you to buy the, the free land with Berry because you will trigger a series of quests that will teach you how to move and remove items and you will get uh, one uh, free soil from that little land. I uh, throw the mover and remover after each use because I don't have uh, space in my inventory for uh, those. But now that we have them let's go to our new farm and see how uh, how can we make it uh, easy and efficient to use this is my new farm we press that key on or this to to see it this is a virgin land how i would call it this is how i like them they um, this is how they look by default nobody touched it and i have uh, full freedom to to arrange it how uh, how I like it. First of all, you can look on OpenSea or any other um, exchange the the NFT traits. You cannot change those. If your farm does not have trees uh, or a windmill or a coop, you cannot add them. For example, my land uh, is missing a silo and have and has light trees instead of dense. Uh, forest um, so be careful on uh, on that when you when you buy it now besides uh, those trades you will add the uh, industries and what I do with my land is uh, have uh, four of one type so people that want to specialize um, can see that my farm is the best for what they need so my farms are not jack of all trades, my farms are very specialized. Now, if you want to put an industry on your land, you have to come here in the Ministry of Innovation, click on this uh, wall and buy the blueprint for it. You buy it once and you learn it forever. You can make infinite uh, industries after that. So you buy it, I have them learned already, you eat it. And then you use the table and uh, make it. Um, that's how you add the uh, industries. Those are the only things besides decorations that you can add on um, on your farm. And you have a limit for those. The limit is uh, three on on small size farms and four on large. So you need to decide on what uh, you should focus on and this is very important because mining a silk slug uh, will give you extra tax on your uh, on your farm while woodworking textile mill and uh, kiln does not give you extra tax so you have to balance that for example on 1859 I do not have extra tax from um, having uh, four woodworking benches. What is tax? On this, you can see, you can uh, you have 1% to get an extra resources from what uh, people on your farm get. So these people uh, farm here, and uh, every time they gain something, like uh, when they collect uh, eggs, or they collect crops, or their mine, or they chop down trees, you have 1% uh, chance to get why, what uh, they are getting. 
you do not uh, gain anything from them. This is my my main farm, and uh, we I will uh, arrange my new farm something like this: to have the coop uh, next to the gate on the left, to have a soil uh, beautiful arranged on the right, on um, six or um, five rows. Uh, industries uh, near and the uh, trees are very easy to chop. I like the two rows because you can go left, right, left, right to when you are chopping them. Um, so my farm is very easy to access and use by uh, by everybody. Now let's go to to the new farm. You click on the gate and you have here uh, an extra button for settings. Here you can promote uh, some uh, things. Like uh, I'm promoting my uh, my Discord and my um, my YouTube channel. So add them here. Here you can add new people to to manage your your farms. Here is another account that uh, can uh, manage this this farm be careful with uh, with those and if you add uh, some wallets here i don't recommend you do this but if you add here you make you make your farm private and nobody with the except with the exception of the farms of the wallet addresses you type here can access your um, your farm so you do this if you want only your clan members to access your farm you type the, here your their wallet addresses and uh, they can uh, access it as uh, as well. So now this will take a while, but you need to be close. And here, easy and fast uh, to to access. We'll uh, put all the trees on the left here, and I will arrange them later because I want to make uh, space for. Um, for the soil, the soil will come here. House around here. And for the soil, you use the remover and uh, get it in your inventory. You do the same with the soil in your um, on your spec because you need it to add it here. And you can buy the extra soil for from uh, Hazel. But also try to get some from uh, from players because players sell it for um, for way cheaper. And also you can zoom out, put the uh, thing back and zoom back in. You need to be close to get it, zoom out and put it whatever, zoom back in. This is the fastest way to to do it. When you arrange trees, make sure you. You leave some space, uh, one every three trees. I leave some space so you can uh, walk through the line. Because uh, you need to get your uh, your wood off the ground. And um, uh, forestry guys uh, like to, to have some space between other trees once in a while. You can put them uh, on a form because you, you see there are three types of trees and you can also put them by color but I don't uh, mess with that. Uh, I'm almost done here. Silo uh, is where you get your text but it's not useful for your uh, farmers so put it uh, further away than the things your farmers need. Because they don't need it, it's just for you, so I'll put it further away. Here is how I will uh, do my soil. Uh, rows of uh, 5 each, and you get uh, 12 rows. This is the full uh, length. I have here my uh, my windmill. Let's make one of those. And in the kitchen, also important is to move your stove. Because you, everybody teleports on this very space when you when you get into the chicken, 
and uh, for you to not move to that corner you can put your um, stove here so you can access it as soon as you get into the chicken so it's more uh, efficient you get into the house and boom you are here and you can make whatever you you want and get out also if you get you will get into the house by accident while uh, getting over this uh, this windmill see i don't get it if i'm uh, careful but if it's annoying for you you can just move it a little bit up it won't make a, it won't make a big difference but uh, it will be less annoying and uh, very important for people to reach the trees fast because trees are the only incentive for people to use the the rainbow road so they want to see trees uh, as soon as they enter the farm and they want to see it close lol this is a nice tent this is norton the guy that makes uh, pixel data i recommend you use that uh, that website it's very informative and has the new new update on it so people uh, that use rainbow roads most likely want to chop your trees so they can get here and start start chopping without um, without a fuss and you see that even if i don't see very right i can go through the trees because i left some spaces and they have space here to, to work and here uh, don't forget to um, uh, write something nice uh, you saw i did some pixel art on my uh, main farm that is very expensive each tile is 100 berry i think this uh, arrogance of mine costs me like 20,000 berry or something so um yeah, you can do some uh, Pokemons or some uh, carrots, some fruits I saw on some people. They are very nice, but uh, I would focus first on uh, on bringing 60 soil on uh, the farm. You start with 20, so you need 40 more. That's uh, 20k berry at the shop prices. And industries that are very expensive. 10k the blueprint plus the materials you can get well over 100,000 berry to do a farm uh, to be like a top farm but once you get there i will also add you for um, in my um, on my discord on the best farms just uh, type in slow chat and i will add you here with your four industries now after you finished investing uh, everything into your farm to get max soil max industries max everything decorations everything is not the case here um, but you click here and you see that you are all alone on your farm and uh, your tax is um, path pathetic seven um, poverty well now comes the fun part you need to promote your farms and um, um, because nobody knows about your farm so how can you promote your farms first of all you have this uh, come farm with me channel and you click here your uh, advert and you let people know about your farm you can do this once every six hours here you can also promote giveaways that you are doing for uh, people to come on your farm or uh, whatever Another method is um, how I said on my Discord. If you want, if your farm is one of the best, I will um, put it here. Also, if you are in a clan, um, I suppose your clan as well has uh, this channel for uh, farm promotion, and uh, here you can see uh, clan members promoting. Uh, now. What what else can you do? On Hazel, uh, there are some mysterious crystals. Uh, they increase the chance of uh, people getting on your farm when they use the Rainbow Road. 
uh, I showed uh, uh, how Rainbow Road worked before. And you buy here like, uh, let's say 10, and you click them on your farm. I want to uh, put them on my new farm because it's uh, not uh, built out uh, yet. I will put them here. You click them and you click on the land. And you get discoverability points. And uh, now this farm is um, has a higher chance to be discovered when people use the, the rainbow road. And I mean uh, walking down uh, here. Now every time I do that, there is a percent chance to reach any farm. But farms that have more the crystals used on them have a higher chance for me to, to get on them. Uh, very few people use the rainbow road. That's why Luke said that they will change the mechanic around that. And uh, change the infinite portal a bit. See, this is a more popular farm. We, we can see there are 11 players here, here me included. So, uh, the owner of this farm, uh, 619, I think he invested uh, much more into, into crystals. Or he did giveaways or uh, whatever. Because that farm uh, did not have uh, very interesting industries. This one, you can see how they decorated it. This one is not very efficient, in my opinion. I have to walk a lot to reach the industries and the soil. It's more efficient for tree cutters. That's the closest to the gate. Very far. The chicken is very... The house is very far. The windmill is very far. Yeah. Let's uh, see how other farms are, um, are here. This is... Um, my personal opinion, of course, everyone can do their farm however they like. See, this one has a close coop, very close um, soil, and they have all their mines accessible from uh, from one point. So you stay here and you can uh, collect all your mines. This is a, a good mine placement and a very efficient farm, in my opinion. Very, very well done. Uh, 855 this is a good farm for for mining also it's a water environment you can get marble on that this is the last one. oh this is a good one i even have it uh, on my list i have mine mines here for mines um, interesting soil placement i mean i wouldn't farm soil here trees pretty close together close to the close to the gate it's a it's a good farm. I uh, I mine here. Um, what uh, what else can I can I tell you about farms? They will change the the infinity portal. We are not sure how. Uh, at the moment of me recording this video, it's twelfth uh, January. They will uh, show a leaderboard. In the this is the infinity portal. And I assume when when we click here, there will be a list somewhere of uh, top 20 farms, depending on their uh, discoverability points, to give a new uh, utility to the crystals. Because right now, it's not very consistent. Very few use the Rainbow Road, you don't get a lot of uh, visitors by uh, spending uh, berry on crystals. Some find more success with um, with uh, spending berry on giveaways. Some uh, do crystals. Uh, there are a lot of uh, methods. But yes, this is all I know about uh, farms at the moment. Um, I hope um, you didn't buy one thinking you will get... Um, uh, filled with berry overnight because farms are a lot of work in uh, building them and promoting them. It's a uh, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work to be a farm owner. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. I will do some berry giveaways for new farm owners. 
more details on uh, on the giveaways channel. Legion out.